Yeah, thanks for staying with us on the Sports Morning Zone as we continue our discussion on the rare nephew Jamaica Premier League. We just concluded a conversation with the general manager of Independence Park Limited, Major Desmond Brown, about the use of the national stadium grounds. And now we pivot to a more general discussion about the Jamaican top flight season from a from an administrative standpoint. To do that, we turn to the CEO of Professional Football Jamaica Limited, Owen Hill. Owen, good afternoon. Welcome again to the Sports Mike Zone. How are you doing today? Um, good afternoon, Ricardo, and good afternoon, Mariah. I am a little tired, but um, I'm grateful. I'm yeah. grateful. I see you put in some work. That's really good. <laughs> but before we get to the great work that you did, I want to get your feedback and your feeling um, to the additional markings on the football surface at the National Stadium on Sunday from a PFJL standpoint, not Owen Hill, the individual, but the PFJL, the organization? Um, I mean, I'd rather not comment on it. It's, it's not necessarily what we'd want to have had for a national final. Um, the realities are what they are and you know we try to move forward I, I think our partners in this case IPL they would have tried their very best there were some you know areas for improvement based on what we know and what we're accustomed to and we try to improve as we go forward it's a nice learning experience though for sure um, how but, disappointed were you with what you saw um, I, I don't think I can gauge that I don't think you know generally there's a there's a there's a way to express that everybody would have felt the way they felt including the IPL staffers um, they tried their very best I mean what you saw was a combination of them trying several things just to get it as even as possible and um, I mean we are what we are where we are and I'm not trying to dive deeper into that all right, completely understand. Having said all of that, it was a great day for football in the land of wood and water. I was extremely pleased to see the turnout at the National Stadium on Sunday, and I suspect you must have been as well. And uh, I'm sure this is probably a feeling that you can express, and this time I'm sure with significantly more delight. Yeah, for sure. Um, Jamaica loves football. It's the number one sport in the world i would say um in jamaica <laughs> definitely um the number one sport and we wanted to bring that back to jamaica we know what it was i mean i i don't want to age myself but i i was fortunate to, enough to be in an era to have experienced an era where football was king in jamaica the national stadium was rocking every time you went there for a game um, and we wanted to recreate that energy and that vibe and um, we're happy that Jamaica came out and supported local football. Um, they saw the work that we're doing and the teams ultimately made it possible based on just their fan base and um, just the strategy that we've employed, merging our local culture with um, the sport, football and dancehall. I don't think you get a better combination than that. Right, and you know, when the PFJL's executive was, of course, put in place, one of the mantras, and I remember it so well, Owen, is that you want to build professional football when it comes to Jamaica. Would you say that you're close to achieving that or, you know, you're on the right path? Because I feel like you're not fully there just yet. But, of course, you can speak for yourself. Yeah, like you said, we're not fully there. Um, there are many gaps that we can plug um, there are many learnings that we would have experienced um, I personally have learned significantly and you know for that I'm grateful um, our, our approach is guided by the strategy um, we want to professionalize the ecosystem and we want to build it um, the truth is we are we're, we're, there are areas for significant improvement I mean earlier we started out with stadium um, stadium management and just general access to facilities that can be used as um, prime location to host these top class games. Um, we only have at least, I would say, about one or two sensible um, to the extent that we want to have it. The clubs, as you've seen, um, technically they have become stronger. The coaching is definitely on point. The play is on point. Our commercial strategy is in high gear. 
Um, but we definitely know there's work to be done. And what we want is to create a sports property um, that rivals what looks like the IPL or the Super Bowl or World Cup. So I know those are lofty ambitions, but that's where we're dreaming. And trust me, we're guided by some 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 directors. We're guided by our chairman, Christopher Williams. Let me use this opportunity to especially big up Christopher Williams because he never stops. He dreams extremely big. Um, and there's nothing that is impossible in his mind. So when he says, this is what we're going to do, then we just have to figure it out. And what you saw on Sunday was us figuring it out. Yeah, and Owen, I'm not somebody to, of course, just hand out praises for people randomly. As a matter of fact, I think I'm very difficult when it comes to judging things like that. But you also should be commended, and I say that because many a times people are elected CEO. They're very difficult to get in touch with when it comes to the media. You always made yourself readily available when it came to Sportsmax, maybe because we are the broadcast partners, or maybe <laughs> not. Um, you know, you did that, of course. And another thing is you were always there um, at the field, working and doing everything else that was required of you. What would all that to say now, what was the hardest part of your job? Um, I would say the hardest part is stakeholder management. I mean, you, you touched on a few of the areas that we definitely know we needed to get right. We, we needed to be accessible. We needed for information to flow the way that it needed to be. Um, and for that, um, we're grateful. You know, when we come to work, we come to work, you know, and, and that's the approach. We're working um, and we consistently do that. We, we're, we are not the product. We are just the vanguards. We are the people who are there to promote and to protect it. And, and that's really what we're trying to do because again, you know, the players are the ones who need to, to feel it and, and we are just here to help. So. I'm grateful for the, the commendations that you provided. <laughs> and I'm also um, buoyed by the fact that um, we have a team. We have a team. We have a, we have a nice, close-knitted team. Um, young, energetic, vibrant. And like I said, there's a never-say attitude in how we do it. Um, and we just get it done at all costs. So um, we give thanks and we, we are grateful for the steps that we are taking in the right direction. And since we're handing out commendation, what about Cavalier and Mount Pleasant, the quality of the football uh, that we saw? Because I was present, and to be very honest, if I wasn't parked in a place that I didn't feel like I wanted to park, I would have stayed. It was such a good, good time, Owen. And from the start of the match, of course, to um, the point that I left, it was just a vibe. Good quality football, good atmosphere. Everybody knows I love having a good time. So just the energy at the stadium. And by the way, that's coming from a Trini. You know, let me, you know. Let me make that very clear. That's coming from a <laughs> Trini. He marks very, very hard. So um, we give thanks. Like I said, the teams are really, really good. What you have seen is there's a technical improvement in how the teams are playing. Um, nobody wants to lose. The quality of the players um, are at the you know supreme level. And yes, the, the vision is to get more youngsters getting greater opportunities and exposure and delivering when it matters most. I mean, when I talk to the players, this is the stage that every player wants to play on. Um, and then, you know, the quality on the surface based on the vibe that we had, I think it, it augurs well for a nice game. And I'm happy that you, as well as many other fans, saw what local football can offer. Um, and we hope that translates to the national level and, you know, to the international level. Yeah, we certainly hope so. And as you said earlier, Owen, still um, improvements to be made. I know that your team will be taking a trip to the Copa America tournament. Um, is that a job well done trip or does the work continue? Boy, I tell you, I mean, you would have gotten the news even before me. Um, but I presume it's work again because traveling to Copa will not be something that you know, it's, you know, kicking back in the stands, looking on. It's it's with our notebooks. It's essentially taking Cliff Notes version and trying to apply it back to Jamaica. That's essentially what we do. Um, we're, we're astute learners, continuous, trying to improve. And um, like I said, when, when the exposure is provided through, whether it be the JFF or CONCACAF or even at the FIFA level, um, we essentially are happy for those things. So um, I hope that 
we definitely, well, I'm sure we will learn a whole lot from the Copa America um, experience and exposure. And I can promise you for the 2024-25 season, you'll definitely see a lot of those things in motion. Yeah, very much. Well, you guys have been doing a great job. So, and I think everyone has seen the improvement in recent years. Owen Hill, thanks very much for joining us here on the SportsMax Zone. Um, if you speak with the SportsMax CEO, tell him that there is a thing or two that I could learn from being at Cofer for America as well. No, I definitely will. Um, I think it's a, it's a job well done on the part of SportsMax. I tell, I, I mean, I, I openly say this. Sportsmax is the number one broadcast station in the in the entire region. Um, and you know, that 360 exposure that you provide both to the play on the pitch, the commentary and instance, I think it's massive. And we couldn't have chosen a better partner to help us to to get us to where we are and where we want to go. So give thanks again for that. Yeah, thank you very much. And we look forward to staying with the Premier League in Jamaica for a long, long time. And apparently, Mariah, the director, the producers, the videographers, um, the audio engineer, all can learn something from going to Co for America. So pass the that message sounds like, That sounds like we need to have a nice little chartered flight. Yeah. <laughs> Owen, have a great day. And congratulations on again on a great job and another fabulous season and definitely a terrific execution of the playoffs. Take care. All right. Thank you very much, guys. All right, still so much to come on the Sportsmax Zone, including a preview to the Europa League final on Wednesday. And we have some interesting things coming up in Interactive. Mariah is next with the second zone update.